What's up, folk? Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Saturday morning. Uh, yesterday was a public holiday. We missed out on a ride, but uh, nonetheless, I'm definitely making up today. Uh, I am on an epic rig. Before we get going, I do need to show you this thing. I give you a Trek Top Fuel 9.8 2020 edition. Hopefully you can see some stuff there. Look at that baby. Absolutely mint rig, this thing. Um, I'm absolutely stoked. I've done like three Ks up here. About to meet Ozzy, then we're gonna drop in, go meet a bunch of the Vusrand guys, the awesome loop, and some Westrand trails. I'm flipping stoked. I can't wait to get deep down and involved in this thing. <laughs> Let's rock and roll. While I'm waiting here for Ozzy, also a perfect time to just ask you guys to smash that like button definitely helps my videos out um, but yeah let's go meet up with the rest of the crew put some shades on these eyes smash some trails no, let's tell let's tell the viewers, bro. Let's tell the viewers what the super super slong. The super slong. These lips come up so high. So if you ever need to stop for a little oh. wee next to the road, you got to shoot. So you need a super slong. <laughs> This is Vaughn, guys. Vaughn also did Munga. Not the same year as me, hey? No, yeah, 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 yeah. year after. Look at Vaughn's tat over there. That's super cool, man. That must have hurt, eh? Coming around the front. <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's plans this year, bro? Uh, well, it's C2T. Yeah. Uh, race to the sun. Yeah. 361. Mm. And then going to the grit. Munga mm. uh, again in the year. Mm. I'm not sure when Iron Man is a bit trying to squeeze that in okay. somewhere probably this year as well. So, sounds like a guy you should follow, guys. Uh, got any links there, bro? Not at the moment, no. Yeah, no, okay. Maybe just... maybe by the end of the vlog, I'll convince him to open up a, a Instagram channel or Instagram page. We'll drop the details. Thanks, mate. <laughs> there you go. Lekker. So what, what do you reckon this is, Oz? Nine points? I think this is a 9.7, but also on an XL. Yeah, to XL. The large was felt too small, eh? Really? Yeah. I was on the yeah, you said it is a long way in here. <laughs> I don't know. Normally, a few. So, on the website, it apparently says it's a 9.8, so tech, uh, Trek Top Fuel 9.8 2020 edition. Clean up, I'm not saying it's not Looking true. Looking super clean. Yeah, this is FX1, well, that's nice. It's a, bit, so it's a bit of a mix of stuff. Possibly, I've got that one. That one is wild. Yeah, that's it. 680 that one. That's a 780. Quite a big group today yeah, uh, with the bus run crew. We uh, at Silver Star. I'll show you this beautiful trek as well. I'll show you some of the trails with the boys. These boys know an extensive amount of trails out uh, out west, I guess. So let's check it out, guys. What is it? Oh, bump it up. <laughs> <laughs> And we're on some epic trails. Uh, as always, Woodstrand crew just know how to deliver. Yeah, looking for an awesome mountain bike ride, nice and safe, nice bunch of people. Definitely hit that link in the description. You'll find miners and the Facebook group. Uh, come join these boys and girls. They know some awesome trails. A super rad rig. This thing is ripping up. Definitely more a XC machine in my opinion. Super light, super fast. Yeah. We want some epic trails now on our way to Lanceria.
Rock. Again, from the, from the get-go, I can pretty much say this is an XC beast. Even though 2019 saw a slightly less slacker head angle, um, slightly less suspension, I will travel on the suspension, where the 2020 has got an extra 10 up front, extra 15 at the back. A slightly slacker head angle as well. Trying to venture into the more trail bike zone. To me, still an XC bike. Solid XC bike, fast XC bike. Nimble, aggressive, definitely not a trail bike just yet. The shit you don't see on Facebook. <laughs> This bike also climbs. Hello, ma. So, <laughs> this bike also climbs incredibly well. Super, super light. And absolutely eating up this climb, no problem. Um, definitely an awesome rig if you're gonna be doing a lot of climbing. And again, feeling nice and comfortable still. Ooh. Alrighty guys, uh, that's the Vusrand crew as always. A beautiful ride with the boys and girls. Thank you Manus for leading us out. Again, those boys and girls know an extensive amount of trails. Definitely link up with Manus and go join them. Uh, such a friendly bunch. And you're bound to have an awesome ride. Let's cruise back into Broadacres quickly. I'm gonna find a nice little shady spot. Feeling super comfortable. So comfort is definitely not an issue. When it comes to this rig, I can definitely see long days in the saddle without any issues of discomfort on this guy. It's not your ideal endurance machine. The wheelbase is definitely suited to more of an, an XC vibe or a cross country vibe. It's nimble, it's aggressive, it's sharp, it's hard and pointy. Maybe a little from its uh, younger brother. The super caliber, it's no doubt that this feels a lot more sharp, a lot more spicy. In saying that though, it's still a very fun bike. Having that extra suspension all round makes for a super fun bike. Bike can take a hit, you don't feel any of the corrugations or, or drops or bumps or big hits, small hits. It all feels really, really smooth. So in saying that, this is an awesome machine if you'd like to do, say, a Sani to see, a Joburg to see, um, heck, even a bit of a Munga, maybe, um, you're gonna be comfortable. But comfortable and fast, that's, that's where, where I'm gonna have to draw the line. I think you will be fast, but you're not gonna be comfortable on this rig. Like I said, it's a bit too spicy, a bit too sharp, a bit too, XC ready uh, to be that comfortable um, and you don't blame it that's what a racing bike's for racing is not comfortable so yeah depends the application you're going to use this bike for but definitely capable definitely a nice all-rounder with that suspension This bike definitely just eats through the climbs. No problem. You're also featuring that dual lockout. Locks out both your suspension, your shock. Turning this thing into a bit of an awesome little hardtail. Climbs like a machine.
Yeah, again, you hit that grip shift lockout. Uh, both shocks lock out, and this thing becomes a super fast gravel shredder. Um, perfect for also the climbs. You don't want so much bob on the climbs. This lockout, she's locked out now. And yeah, just eating through all of those corrugations. No problem. Anyway, time has come to show you this beast of a bike. In my opinion, definitely an XC bike, um, even though that improved geometry, added volume on those forks and shocks, definitely still an XC bike, maybe more of a comfortable XC bike, but definitely rips as an XC bike. Let's punch in. A very neat looking rig, absolutely hardly any scuffs or damages on this bike. Super clean, super burly tire up front, uh, really nice maxis. What is that, a Recon Rage at the back? and a Maxxis Ardent up front. Massive 2.4 and a 2.35 at the back. These tires, super burly, super grippy, super nice. Uh, I've never run something so big and shock. What an amazing feeling. This rig climbs super well, super light, lightweight bike. Uh, you're featuring a dual lockout over there. It's RockShox's new grip shift lockout, locking both the forks out. Turns this thing into another beast. Definitely hold down the power and just smash up climbs, no problem. Again, that burly tire and those stanchions, 34 stanchions, keeping this rig super stable while you're in that locked out state. Flip that switch and you're, you're unlocked quick, quick. Up front, you've got a Truvative, uh, it's on a 32. And then at the back, you've got that nice 10 by 50 Eagle uh, XX1. It's really, really nice. New technology from SRAM, crisp technology. I can't fault that at all. Really dig this bike. Also featuring a really nice dropper post on you. Super nice stoppers on a carbon bond tracker bar. Uh, really nice 40 mil stem up there as well. So nice and short, keeping this bike nice and aggressive. Again, that 34, Fox 34 factory up front. Fox 34, um, and as well as a step cast. They've shaved up a bit of the weight off of that, off of that fork over there on the other side too. Running Bontrager hubs, front and back. Really nice wheel set on this. It's the Line 30, both front and back. The 2020 edition coming out with 115 at the back on a Fox float, it's the DPS. And then up front, you've got 120 mil and that's on a Fox factory performance fork. Very, very nice carbon looking rig. This is the Trek top fuel, 9.8 in all her beauty. Alrighty, right guys, um, thank you so much for joining me. It was an awesome ride, awesome link up with the bus run crew. Thank you, Manus, again for the extensive amount of trails. You boys know. See that swimming pool looking fresh. Um, winter's not here yet, guys. I'm gonna get into that pool now. Now I'm gonna smash a beer as well. We got a braai happening at some point later today. Happy Easter, everyone. Um, don't get fat on the chocolates, and if you do, I'll see you out there tomorrow to burn it all off. Enjoy the weekend guys, enjoy Easter, um, have a banging day and I'll catch up later. <laughs>